paper, man. Quite the box. This is a quite the box unboxing. So here we go. I'm gonna open it up some more. So this is the kind of you kind of if I was wasn't chatting, I'd be whistling right now because we gotta do something like opening this up because it's gonna drive you nuts. You got it so well packed. This is a pack for shipping to a war. Right? Oh, here we go. Another box. There's another box inside the box. So I'm going to pull this box out of that box. And this watch was procured from Joma Shop. This is a certificate of authenticity. And there's also a Richavute in here, which says, here's how much you paid, man. Here's how much you paid. And then there's um, a whole bunch of stickers, happy stickers. So that's from Joma Shop. Great place, by the way. They're excellent people. I've bought watches from them before. This watch was a gift from my staff after working uh, for them, I think, is the, is the right way to say it, for many years. So they gave me a very beautiful gift here, and it's a watch. I'd like to personally thank them right now for this, because it's kind of really cool to get something like this that you that you really, you know, that you really appreciate. So, so it is a watch. So let's just keep unpacking here. We'll just put this aside. Put this with the Richard Butte. And then I'm just going to unwrap this slowly and let's see what this is. Oh, wait a second. It's another box. Look at that. Another box. When I was a kid, a little story here. When I was a kid, um, my mom actually put a rock in the Christmas box for me. So, so, so this better not, this better not be a rock. Because my mother did that to me at Christmas and laughed her butt off. And I think I might have cried. I was a little kid. And she thought it was so funny that she just put a rock and she had a box and a box and a box and a box and it got down to being a rock so I was like oh my god so there's plastic here so let's get rid of that and then I got another box here I think I'm getting close to the box that I'm looking for here so this box I believe is a partial box so I have to push this out or in I think I gotta push it this way there we go I might have had this upside down. Look at this. It is a Hamilton. Hamilton. Or if you do this, it's a Milton. Look at that. A genuine Milton. Or a Litton. A genuine Litton. Anyway, I'm not that funny. <laughs> so so it, it's a Hamilton. Here we go. This is a Hamilton watch so the mystery is solved so that's my video um, thanks for watching no, i'm just kidding let's keep going so it's a hamilton watch um, i'm going to turn it towards me here and i believe it is a beautiful hamilton so as you can see the box very nice box love the wood grain on the hamiltons they treat these watches special so this looks really nice I'm just going to set this aside for a second here and the flap comes down because you don't want to be trying to get this in with your fingers anyway the flap comes down and in there you have your your generic Hamilton watch company card of some sort it comes apart and I think that's warranty information and, oh it's how to set the time if you don't know how to set the time on a watch you don't deserve to have a watch so go away so this is a beautiful Hamilton watch let's see what type watch this is I'm going to put this back top back on this case here set that aside and I'm going to open this up right now Jerry right now so here we go this is it oh my god that's gorgeous 
This is a Hamilton well-packed khaki aviation automatic day date watch. So, and this watch was in the movie Interstellar. So let's get a little close up on this watch. Okay, here's the watch that we have. Um, hopefully the quality is, is good. So this comes with a, uh, I believe it comes with either a leather strap or a, or a uh, metal strap. This one is in a, in a leather strap, which is very nice. Um, and it's packed up. Um, it has, there we go, let's get this thing out. Oh, look at that. I think I've got to adjust my camera. It's so beautiful, I need to adjust my camera. There's no way I can leave it like this. There we go. This thing pops. It pops. So there we go. And it's got um, some protective... Well, let's look at the case for a second. This is wooden. And this is in a very nice... Um, this, this thing, I guess, comes out somehow. So anyway, <laughs> someday I'll figure out how to take this cushion out. But it's in a nice cushion here in a very beautiful box. So I'm going to move that out of the way for now. And I think I need to put a black background or some other background down. So what we have here is the Hamilton uh, Day Date, the uh, Khaki Aviation Watch. Um, and it is a Flieger Type B watch. Flieger Type B watch. Uh, and it is, as you can see, the large numerals on the uh, outside are the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 up to 50 and the uh, 55 and the 5 are missing to make room for the day on here. Um, it is um, a Hamilton watch. It's a fully automatic watch. It's got the date on the base down here as you can see. So the day's up here, the day's, date's down here. There's a massive marker on the top for, for the center um, and the ring, the out outside bezel ring um, is just a shiny piece of stainless steel, I think, but it's a very beautiful outside bezel. There's lots of reviews online on this watch. You can watch better reviews than mine, of course. But what do I like about this? Um, let me get my crazy looking tweezers so I can point. How's that sound? I will point with, I will point with some watchmaking tweezers. How's that sound? Because I am a watchmaker, so. So there we go. So. As you can see, the hands are semi-skeletonized, so the tip of that, uh, of the hour hand is skeletonized, so as you, this is, is, you can see the numbers through the center of that triangle as they go by, and the base of this, of the minute hand is skeletonized, um, and that lets you see the word Hamilton as it comes around. Um, it doesn't really impact the, uh, the hour markers on the inside. So this watch has the minute markers on the outside, and the hour markers on the inside. That's what's unique about this watch. Um, it's got a um, the the second uh, second hand going around here. Uh, it's going at twenty one six, I think, maybe something like that. Um, it, it is actually a twenty eight six movement, right? So it, it moves at a much faster speed. And what they've done is slow the movement down to give this a crazy power reserve. So this, this would normally have a 40 hour power reserve at 28.6 um, uh, beats per, per hour. So they move it down to 21.4 I'm guessing here. Um, and that power reserve, um, that, that allows this watch to run for 80 hours. So I believe this watch has the, uh, the H-40 movement in it. So this will run for 80 hours so you can take it off on a Friday, put it back on a Monday and the thing is still work, working, right? So now it's a fully automatic watch. Um, it's got a, uh, uh, it's got a sapphire crystal on it. It's a flat, flattened sapphire. I think there's a slight edge of, of a dome just slightly above it, but it's generally a flattened sapphire crystal. So as you can see, as I'm moving this, you can see some imaging through that crystal. Um, the numbering on the inside are raised numbers and people were saying in certain lighting if you if you move this watch at a certain angle the, the numbers do some funky stuff they jump out like like there as you can see you can the numbers are boldly showing up right and as you go down through sunlight the numbers almost disappear right and then they reappear like that so they're magic numbers 
they appear and re reappear. It's not that thick a movement, which is really nice. So that'll rest really nice on the wrist. Um, the crown is not a screw down crown. Um, it's protected and this watch is good for um, 100 meters for uh, uh, water resistance of 100 meters or 145 psi or 328 feet um, it's sta all stainless steel there's anti-reflection on this watch on the uh, so you can see the way that see how that turns it spins it's, it's kind of a maybe it's the pilot side of me that likes that so anyway um, so um, it's um, anti-reflection um, and there is an open case back. The case is a 42 millimeter case. Uh, the dial looks grayish black. So it kind of looks like a black dial to me. So I think that's a black dial. Um, there's really nice stylings in the side here. So the way they've taken this and they've got the brush, uh, the brush on here and, and on the other side of the, uh, of where the lugs are. And then on the edge, they have, they have uh, it shine, shined up shined up shined up so this is all brushed stainless steel here which is gorgeous right so they've got the hamilton the h for hamilton on the crown which is a very nice touch um, and if i turn this over you can see i'll stick the sticker off when i've got more time but you can see the the movement in there and it's a it's a work it's a piece of work so it's a beautiful uh, h40 movement and it's giving you uh, it's giving you 80 an 80 hour power reserve which is friggin amazing i think so uh, the uh, the strap oh, by the way it's uh, genuine cow leather it's brown uh, it's got the pin buckle 22 millimeters uh, wide um, and it's just a nice simple strap uh, the strap reference number is h 600 646 1081 h 600 646 1081 for the strap uh, so we have very beautiful. It says Hamilton on the inside as well. Um, they like their advertising. Uh, it's a size 20 strap. And it's stitched, which gives it that extra kind of fancy touch to it. When you wear a stitched leather strap, it's uh, it's very, uh, it shows itself, right? It's not a cheap strap. So, and again, looking at the back of the watch here, the see-through back, it's got a, it's an automatic watch. You can tell by the rotor. As I'm flipping this from side to side, the rotor will, will move. When you get a watch like this, you want to make sure the rotor is free and it's moving very easily. So when, you, when you're wearing it, it's turning and it's actually winding the watch. So that's the intent of the rotor. Um, and as I can see the balance, I haven't really wound it other than the rotor moving around a bit. And I can see the balance in the inside just ticking away like it's, uh, like it's doing its thing. If you could see the, uh, the writing on the watch, it says Swiss made. And the, uh, the number on this is, uh, it says H64-6150. So H64-6150. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's the part number of the watch, actually. So, and over here, if I look this side, what do we got here? Water resistant, 10 bars, 145 PSI. It's kind of funny that they just wouldn't say 100 meters or, or uh, 328 feet, but 10 bars is uh is 100 meters so because there's 10 meters in a bar so you can do that math yourself what's strange or not maybe not strange because it's not really a dive watch it's a pilot's watch but we have these screws uh, right here that are that are holding the case back down so this 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 is a you push this down when you when you reinstall it and you tighten the screws on it and that holds it in and there's gaskets on the inside there so this is the hamilton uh, khaki uh, day date pilot so this watch was worn by an actor and if I say his name um, I'll just go all right all right all right and he was in the movie interstellar and they call this watch the Cooper uh, the retail on this or the price of this watch is 800 and 895 bucks US so it's not cheap it's a very beautiful move, uh, watch um, anyway, that's that's my uh, my viewer of my look at this watch. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to put this on my wrist and see what it looks like on the wrist, and we'll come come right back. All right, taking the tag off the watch. This is what it looks like in its entirety. So you've got it right here. Um, I'm going to move this around just so you can see the way the numbers do some funky stuff. Um, if you looked up, I'll do a micro a micro view of this too. But you can see some. Uh, some uh, 
I guess, metal scaling or whatever on the numbers themselves. Uh, you'll see the way they've done that. And so each number is, is, is uh, a f it's a raised number. It's affixed to the face of the watch, so glued on, I imagine. So, so that's it. And the, uh, the loom, the, the major loom here is on the minute hand and the, uh, and the hour hand. Um, and I imagine the uh, outer ring also has loom on it too. And I think this is a super luminova uh, loom on this. So it's going to be pretty adequate to last through the evening. Um, and let me just, just before I start here, I'm going to see if I can, with my gloves on, can I, does this, will it wind? Oh yeah, so it's winding. And I'm not sure if it's hacking or not. So I'm going to take a glove off here. Because, you know, there's only so much you can do with white gloves on. So bear with me for a second. This is live action. So we're taking a glove off here and we're pulling this out. Because I want to see how this works. So I just pulled it out, I think, one step. So right now it's 814. So let's move this over. And you can see the second hand did stop. So if this was um, a pilot's watch, you'd want to be able to set this appropriately. So you need that second hand to stop. So let me just move this around to, to 8. 14 which is the time right now. So this would be 6 and you can see on the the inner ring has got the hour numbers on it. So 6, 7 and we're going to go to 8. That's 8 and we're going to go to 14 and you can really see your 14 there. And it's going to be 8.15 in a second if I look down. I'll just set it at 8.15. So let's get that set at 8.15 and then if I push this down it should start again. So there we go. That's the uh, hacking feature, and as I'm turning this, I can feel it wind. So it's winding and hacking, even though it's a fully automatic watch. So let me pull this out again. I think I pull it out even further to set the date. No, eh, I know I got to pull it out again. There's no way that there's. Maybe I did pull it out already the first step. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I did. I shouldn't, don't pull it out too far. You'll break it. So there you go. So that's changing the date. Let me just zoom in here for a sec. All right, it's nicely zoomed in right now. The lighting is so critical on this watch. Like if you move it just a little bit and it changes personality. So look at that. So the outer, outer, uh, outer markings there look white as, white as white, right? And those numbers, as you can see, are raised numbering, right? I just move it a little bit towards my computer, which is displaying the video right now. So this is what it looks like. As I just move it around slowly here um, and you can see that bezel is or that crystal is it's up a bit but I believe it's a flat crystal I'll have to look at that a little closer but um, and the brush is, the brushing on the side is uh, beautiful so the brush brushing on top here and the brushing on the side here is gorgeous and there's the crown there and uh, with the H on it the Hamilton logo on it so I like these close-ups they're nice I hope you're appreciating the close-up here and I, I pull this to one position here, and, I, and when I turn it, see, forward or backward? Oh, there we go. So there's 10, and the date is the 11th today. That's 11. And man, that's smooth. That feels so, so smooth. That's 11, that's 12, that's 13. So today's the 13th. Now, it says Tuesday already, but it's only Monday, so I need to move that around here. So let me see if I keep turning that. That goes to Wednesday, Thursday. This is kind of cool. Thursday, and it's smooth. Like, I have not felt something as smooth like this before. This is really, really nice, turning this crown. It's amazing. That's Friday. There's Saturday. And I'm trying to take it nice and easy. It looks like it does it in half steps. So that's our day sun, our day sun. And you do another, there's Sunday, and then today is Monday, and that's halfway through the date change, which would be somewhere after midnight, and then it would go around again, and that's Monday. So I believe that should do there. So that's the date and time set now, and I press that down. So it didn't take much to pull this out, by the way. I pulled it out to the first position, just stuck my fingernail under there, and and just sort of wedged it in and when I wedged that in it pulled out to the uh, first position and I think this is like I said running at 21.6 so you can see it jittering just a bit but it's going to run for for um, uh, it's going to have an 80 hour power reserve which is amazing 
the mainspring on this, you, there's no overwinding these watches because the mainspring on the inside of the barrel will slip um, and there's barrel grease on the outside of the barrel. So, and I've explained that in some of my other watchmaking videos, how that works. So there we go. So the intent here is that if a pilot glances down very quickly, they can see that they've got, you know, they're at 20, right? And maybe they were setting it for for the top for an hour and now they're, they know the time immediately. So that's the idea. So, so as I turn this again, as you can see the, uh, it's just gorgeous the way this thing lights up. It's, uh, I can't give it to, uh, more praise than that, man. This is a beautiful watch. So let's just turn it around here slowly. I'll rotate it, and you can see it as it rotates. Get my fingers out of the way, and just rotate that. And you can see all of the polishing on the sides, very well polished, and then brushed on the sides there. So the top was was a bit polished, and then there's the screwed screw down back case back, and there's that movement, the H40 movement, working away and this is gorgeous and there's there's the uh, the balance is ticking away like nobody's business and you can see how free the the um, the weight is in there right the rotor you can see how that just barely move it and that rotor turns which is nice that'll keep that nicely wound up and you can see the screws four screws holding the case down and again the side is brushed and then the top where the ring is 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 polished and actually the top of the case is slightly polished and there's a very nice touch where there's polishing right on the edge here so it's polished right here which is gorgeous so that's, uh, that's uh, where we're at so this is the again the Hamilton uh, khaki aviation watch day date this is worn in the movie interstellar it became famous for that um, what I think is really cool about this watch is that in the different positions um, it just lights up differently. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous watch. This is going to wear very, very nicely on my, my arm. Uh, I feel like putting it on right now, but this picture is so nice. I, I don't want really, really want to disturb it. Love the hands. I love the fact that the second hand points all the way to the edge as well, so you actually know what, exactly what second you're on there. So this is not a chronograph, though. Um, so it's not meant for that, it's meant for pilots. So it's a, a, a Flieger Type B watch. So a Flieger Type B watch. Um, there it's lighting up again. And see those raised numbers? Just gorgeous. So I'm hoping this is convincing you to pick one of these up. I'll put this on my wrist now. Um, as you can see, you can instantly tell what time it is. Instantly tell what time it is. Um, and there's the tag for it on the side here. So 895 US for this uh, beautiful piece. Um, and again, the leather here and the stitching and all of the beautiful things that, uh, that this watch comes with. So other than the, um, the fact that uh, you could you get an 80 hour power reserve with this watch, uh, that's just crazy. So 80 hours of power reserve, um, not a lot of watches have that and it's kind of cool the way they did it. So they used a, a high beat 28.8 maybe movement and 28.6. Somebody please correct me, I don't want to Google it right now but a 28 something movement and they moved it down to a 21 six movement I believe and uh, beat and um, frequency and then that gives you more more power because the mainspring can more of the mainspring can release over a longer period of time so or less of the mainspring is released over a long period of time anyway whatever so there you go